In today's data-driven world, companies are increasingly capturing their knowledge, whether from databases or documents, in a well-curated knowledge graph. It is often more desirable to get insights by executing complicated reasoning queries in the form of natural language. Wikidata is a well-known knowledge graph that captures knowledge of Wikipedia in a structured way. For instance, with Wikidata, you could ask, which movie was directed by someone born in the same city as the lead actor? Or something simpler, like, list all the movies directed by John Krasinski. When your data is structured in a knowledge graph, you can easily get these answers and verify them programmatically to ensure accuracy and catch hallucinations the system might produce. By blending the ease of natural language with the reliability of knowledge graphs, you can ask complex questions to your data without the need for specialized query languages and trust the results with confidence. Hi everyone, today we are going to show you how to perform question answering on knowledge graphs using Relational AI's native app on Snowflake and Snowflake's Cortex AI. We'll power the entire system using Snowpark Container Services. This work is a partial re-implementation of the paper, Question Answering by Intermediate Representation on Knowledge Graphs, authored by Luca Scherer and colleagues. So now, let's delve into the architecture that allows us to achieve this. Users may already have their data in Snowflake, Relational AI runs within the user's Snowflake account, creating a graph index over the Snowflake tables. This allows a user to create a relational AI model in Python. This model can be interpreted as an executable knowledge graph. When a user asks a natural language question, the system generates a relational AI Python query that is then executed and retrieves the relevant answers to the user. In summary, a solution leverages data in Snowflake tables, Cortex AI to translate natural language to queries, and Relational AI's native app to construct an executable knowledge graph that answers these queries. The knowledge graph we'll use in this demo will be a subset of Wikidata focused on movies. If you'd like to use your own data, you can follow the instructions in the quick start. Let's dive into how the pipeline is set up. The end-to-end -end pipeline begins with a natural language question sent by the end user. For instance, consider the question, list the movies directed by John Krasinski. The goal is to answer this question by using the information in the Wikidata knowledge graph. The system transforms the question into a structured language called Intermediate Representation or IR. IR identifies and represents the relevant entities and their relationships. We use Snowflake's Cortex AI to generate the intermediate representation. Its syntax resembles first-order logic, so here, the natural language question will be translated to M such that John Krasinski is the director of M. Note that this presumes there exists an entry in a dataset that contains all the directors by name. We resolve this in the next step. IR represents the keywords in the framed question logically. Here the keywords are director and John Krasinski. We use similarity search Facebook AI similarity, or FAIS, to match these keywords to their closest equivalent entities and relationships in the underlying Wikidata knowledge graph. In this example, we retrieve the top two most similar results for each keyword. For each match, there's a corresponding ID, which is the Wikidata ID, assigned to each property and entity. So here, director is mapped to director and director of photography with their corresponding Wikidata IDs, Similarly, John Krasinski is mapped to John Krasinski and John Carpenter with their corresponding IDs. As we can see here, similarity search returns the top two potential matches for each keyword. These matches are then checked against the knowledge graph and the match that satisfies all the query criteria and exists in the underlying KG is presented as probable answer. In this case, Director with ID P57 and John Krasinski with ID Q313039 are the desired outputs. Note that we began with the natural language question and the system was able to map the referred entities and relationships to the corresponding Wikidata IDs on its own. Now, the natural language question, the intermediate representation and the similarity search results are fed as input to Snowflake Cortex AI to output the relational AI Python query. This query is then executed directly on the relational AI model, which can be thought of as an executable knowledge graph, and the result is returned to the user. 
according to the current Wikidata snapshot, a quiet place is the expected answer to this question. Note that everything runs securely in the user's Snowflake account on Snowpark Container Service without the need of moving data in and out. Given that at the end we are executing a query on the knowledge graph, the answer is guaranteed to exist in a dataset, otherwise nothing will be returned. Having seen how the components in the pipeline are structured, let's see how to deploy it as a service on Snowflake. With six straightforward steps, you can launch the Knowledge Graph question answering Snowpark Container Service. Once the service is up and running, you'll need to follow four additional steps to use our demo notebook on Snowflake. For detailed instructions, please refer to the Quick Start Guide. We are now ready to dive into the Snowflake notebook and explore answers to some movie-related questions. So let's get started. These are the set of questions that we are going to run through our pipeline. We'll first import the Python libraries that we need, including the relational AI Python package. The package is a declarative query builder that lets you model relationships between entities in your data. Next, we'll define the relation layer model and load the config that has the Snowflake schema details. Once the relation layer model is defined, we'll set up Snowflake data streams to keep it synchronized with the Snowflake tables. This stream only needs to be established once for each model per database. In my case, I've already set up the stream, so I'm not going to repeat it. We'll also define two types in the model. Think of these types as representing real world entities, essentially the things you want to include in your model. In this case, the two types are triplet in sync with Snowflake table triplets and label in sync with Snowflake table ID underscore labels. The triplets table contains facts that reference Wikidata IDs and the ID underscore labels table provides a mapping from these Wikidata IDs to their corresponding text labels. In the next two cells, we'll perform a SQL selection using the relational AI Python library to retrieve rows from the model types. When we write fact equal to triplet, we are executing a SQL selection to fetch all the rows from the triplet type. In the following cell, we'll display the label names corresponding to these triplet IDs by referencing the label type we defined in the relational AI model. One of the rows can be read as a dark truth, cast member, max top length. As mentioned earlier, we have defined a list of natural language questions that we'll run through our pipeline. This list includes a range of questions starting with simple ones like name the actors of the silent one, and progressing to more complex ones such as, in which movie is one of the cast members the child of the director? Let's now run these questions through a pipeline. First, we need to fetch the current active Snowflake session to interact with the Snowpark container service. We also define the models that we want to use for the Snowflake complete and text embedding tasks in Cortex-AI. Now that we have established the connection with the Snowflake, and loaded our data into the relation layer model, we use three service functions to interact with the Snowpark container service. First, there's the generate IR function, which converts a natural language question into the intermediate representation or IR. Next, we make use of the make IR executable function. This function takes the IR and performs a Facebook AI similarity search, mapping the keywords in the IR to entities and relationships in the underlying Wikidata knowledge graph. Finally, the generate query function comes into play. It processes the natural language question, the intermediate representation, and results from the similarity search to generate the corresponding relational AI Python query as a string. The generate IR and the generate query function interact internally with Snowflake Cortex AI, while the make IR executable function connects with Facebook AI similarity search. In this cell, we are going to interact with these three service functions. Let's see the output from these service functions for one of the questions. 
This is the question. This is the corresponding intermediate representation that the service function returned. And this is the final relational AI Python query in the form of string. Triplet cross triplet is the triplet type that we've casted as a Python class. Since Snowflake context AI returns the query as a string, we provide additional context to execute it using relational AI Python. The resulting output is stored in a variable called responses entity ID format. These are the corresponding Wikidata IDs, which we'll map to their corresponding text labels in the next step. Having retrieved the Wikidata entity IDs corresponding to the questions we posed, our next task is to map these entity IDs to their respective text labels in Wikidata. To do this, we'll use the label type to obtain the relevant answers in text format. Finally, we display all the questions that we asked along with their corresponding answers generated by the pipeline. Even if you are not a movie enthusiast, you can be confident that we have verified everything and all the answers are accurate based on the snapshot of data we are using. Now let's verify one of the answers. Our system returned a quiet place for the question, which movie's director is married to a cast member? Here's how we verify this. First, let's visit the Wikidata page of A Quiet Place. We see that its director is John Krasinski. Next, let's look for the spouse of John Krasinski. We see that Emily Blunt is the spouse of John Krasinski. Going back to the page of A Quiet Place, let's check for the cast members. We see that Emily Blunt is one of the cast members of the movie A Quiet Place. In conclusion, the director of A Quiet Place movie, John Krasinski, is married to one of its cast members, Emily Blunt. This confirms that the answer provided by our system is correct. We demonstrated how to build a question answering service on top of knowledge graphs using relational AI and Snowflake Vortex AI. We showcase the seamless integration of a knowledge draft coprocessor within the Snowflake environment, enabling natural language interactions with the knowledge graph to unlock deep, accurate insights. Thank you, and we hope you enjoyed this example of what relational AI Snowflake native app can do for you.